Hi, my name is uh, Pamela Goldfarb. I'm a mixed media artist and I live in Toronto. I've always been interested in signs and symbols. When I traveled in Europe, I did not return with images of the sites, the Eiffel Tower, Michelangelo's David, but with roll after roll of street signs. I was particularly interested in anything that had an X. I documented X's anywhere I saw them. Signs, buildings, alleyways. You mark something with an X, you cross something out with an X. An X signifies both absence and presence, a very powerful sign. As an added bonus, a rotate the X is a cross. These two pieces are part of a series called Elements, the two larger pieces. Before I speak about them in particular, I will talk about my work in general. Throughout my career as an artist, I've done all kinds of work. Always abstract, only oils, a lot of mixed media. I worked a lot with sands. A lot of my work is filled with color. As well, I've done a lot of mixed media collage pieces. I love tearing things up. I did a strip series where I integrated strips from finished work into new works. This culminated in a piece called Some of Its Parts. I took a finished work, tore it to 100 pieces, and used these pieces in a collage, making a totally new work. I exhibited this work along with my strip series in an exhibition in New York two years ago. When I think back on this work, there was an element of play in it. This new share series shares that element of play. It also shares two other themes that have run throughout my work absence and language. Another thing I love to do is burn things. I started burning in university. I burnt an X into a 24 by 29 inch box. I then painted a black and did it again and again until I had 98 of them. All different textures, all different blacks. At the end of the year, I painted two pieces, 29 inches by 29 inches, with squares in the four corners and a thin cross-like element in between. Looking back, these were the seeds of the series. The size grew to 36 inch square, where I painted two pieces in Montreal several years later. I continued to create all kinds of other paintings, but every once in a while, one of these pieces would emerge on its own or sometimes with a pair. The initial ones were very dark. A few years ago, I revisited this theme and did a small series of 36 inch square paintings. I call them paintings, but in fact, there is no paint. The materials are burnt wood, coal dust, rust, and lead. The basic structure is a 36 inch square that consists of nine basic squares. These squares can then be subdivided into a smaller squares and divided and linked together in an infinite number of ways. In the original piece, there was often an expert into one of the corners. The X was always a nine square X, which related to the nine square structure. There was one piece where I floated a copper X several inches beyond the surface. This is one of the pieces, this is one of the pieces in this small series. I like the way the organic materials, rich browns, warm blacks, are juxtaposed against a hard-edged geometric structure. Here we have, this is burnt wood, and then I this is burnt and sanded, and then I'll take what's sanded off and I rub it back in and create a very rich, rich surface. And it's two parts here is rust that has been sanded off a rusted surface and, and rubbed in. Uh, sometimes I'll put like a wax coating on top and sometimes I won't. And this square here is coal dust that has been rubbed into the surface. Uh, I find it very interesting how even though there is no paint, you can have very rich, rich textures, rich textures and rich colors. I cut an X out of a piece of rusted metal. I suspended the X above the surface by using rare earth magnets. This enabled me to try a variety of positions until I selected one, one I like. As well, anyone can go up and rotate it. It adds an element of, of play to the piece. The X, which increases the tension of the piece, as well as adding an element of playfulness. The title of this piece is Until. Holding the rusted X and working with steel created in me a curiosity about working with metal, and that's the birth of this next series. This series is called Elements. The series consists of paintings that are 60 inches by 60 inches, as well as 48 inch squares. Each contains a 36 inch square painting within a larger structure of metal elements. Steel, 
copper, and rusted steel. This was the first time I did extensive work with metal. So like anything new, there was a learning curve and a lot of experimentation. Working with metal was a challenge. I initially found it heavy and awkward, but quickly became intrigued by the nuances of the surface. The series was born out of my minimal minimalistic sensibility and belief that materials are what they are. Lead is heavy and therefore should be at the bottom. If there is a piece where the lead is on the top, it is a very conscious decision. The other thing that was essential to me is that the attachments be visible and become an integral part of the work. I was not looking for a pristine finish, but wanted the cut marks to show. Process has always been a part of my work. I've worked with rust before, but always rust metal I found. Rusting steel was a totally new experience. I love watching the steel change states, but there's an element of chance involved, as you never quite know how it is going to rust. That became an important part of the work to me. I had one of the pieces in a place that was more human and discovered that it rusted in a very strange way. At first, I was bothered by it and actually was just about to remove it and replace it with a clean piece of steel. But then I paused, took another look, and realized that chance could become an important element in my work. In ambivalence, it actually feels like the steel on top is crushing the painting and pushing away the picture. Uh, one of the new things that I've integrated into ambivalence is I've utilized the natural wood. I like the way it integrates with the, uh, the grain of the wood. And you see the difference between the burnt part, the burnt and the sanded part, and the plain wood part, as well as, as the rust. It also picks up on the patterns that happen on the rust. All of the pieces, the both pieces you see here, the steel is sitting on top of the wood. In some of my newer pieces, I have quarter inch steel that butts up against quarter inch wood. I still have many pieces in the series that I've not yet created. They exist in my mind, and some aren't even at that stage yet, Sim yet simply ideas to explore. They exist in my mind, and some aren't even at that stage yet, yet simply ideas to explore. As an artist, I always wonder when a piece is finished and when a series is finished. Just as a series always reaches back to when I started painting, I think elements of it will reach forward, impacting on much of my work in the future. <laughs>